Thank you very much, Corbin. First up this morning, Easter entertaining done right. The fine folks at newly opened Aperitif are serving up a Mediterranean style brunch that's perfect for all your celebrations, both big and small. And here to share one of their hearty dishes is executive chef Chad Grant. Hello, Chad. Welcome to the show. Congratulations on Aperitif. What does Thank the name you. mean, Aperitif? It's a, a digestive cocktail typically uh, enjoyed before a meal. Mm -hmm. to, it helps with the you know digestive qualities of the whole meal and kind of puts you into the re relaxation. Kind of like mode. an aquavit in the in the uh, Scandinavian exactly. culture. You exactly. bet. Well, tell us about your location. You're in Woodbury. Whereabouts? We're on the corner of uh, Tamrack Road and Bielenberg Drive, right mm -hmm. off of the uh, right off of 494. Um, right off the highway there, uh, 94 access close by. Very nice. Very nice. Let's talk menu. What is on the menu? I know it's a Mediterranean theme. What does that mean? Uh, Mediterranean food is, you know, really fresh quality uh, seafoods, produces, prepared in uh, simple but proper cooking techniques. Uh, we highlight the ingredients that boast from the Mediterranean Sea and the regions around the area. Nice. So it's really just highlighting the, the great foods that come from that. Great video we're looking at here, the ambiance. It looks really cool, really a chic place. You got full bar, we see. Yes. Full bar service. Yep. And uh, exciting news today, this Saturday, you start your brunch. We open for brunch. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, we're uh, working to get open Saturday morning, and we have a variety of different wines by the glass. Mm -hmm. We have a great menu, um, really, really, really nice stuff. You brought a lot of cool stuff off the menu here, but I wanna get to cooking, and, and if we have time, we'll go through what you brought today. What okay. are you gonna prepare for us? We're gonna do a smoked salmon carbonara. Oh, nice. It's uh, Traditionally, it's made with ham. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we make our own smoked salmon in-house, mm -hmm. really nice. What do you got going here, first thing? This is just some heavy cream. Okay. This is a really simple dish. It doesn't get any easier than okay. this. And we have our house smoked salmon. Let me, let me hold that. Let's see a shot of this. You smoke this in-house. I do. How, yeah. how, how much at a time? Uh, we, we'll do about 15 pounds at a time. Oh, wow. And that, you know, we have a few other dishes that where we use smoked salmon. I'd be happy just eating stuff. the smoked salmon. Absolutely. And, you know, if you don't smoke your own salmon, you can, you know, if you're up on the North Shore or something, yeah. pick up some of that salmon. It's, it's really, really it nice. There. So what we do is we just add that to the cream because you don't really want to cook it. It's already cooked. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of warm it up a little bit. Now traditionally a, a carbonara, there's two elements to a sauce mm -hmm. to, to actually thicken it. A lot of times they use egg or an egg yolk mm -hmm. to kind of thicken the sauce. We're really just heating it up. First thing I like to do next is go in with some salt and uh, a little bit of pepper. You don't want to go too much because there is a good amount of salt in the smoked salmon. Absolutely, as well. yeah. Now, do you brine your salmon? There's a couple smoke? different ways that we do it. That we'll do it. It's uh, you can put a dry cure on it, mm -hmm. or you can do a wet brine. This one is actually uh, soaked in a wet brine overnight, and then it smokes for about an hour and a half to secret, two hours. Secret, secret wet brine. You Absolutely. Give, you want to give up that? Uh, <laughs> you know, I like to smoke fish. You get yeah. give up, give up that recipe. Okay, so you let this kind of bathe in the cream for a little bit. Right, and we go in with some garlic. Mm -hmm. Soft cooking techniques on this one. You don't really want to cook anything with high heat. It's just a really nice uh, creamy dish and the smoked salmon flavor kind of permeates through the cream and mm -hmm. if you cook it too much, you'll it'll get a little lost in that. You're going to put this over a bed of pasta eventually? Yes. You know what I'm thinking right now? What's over that? Over biscuits. Biscuits? Yeah. My grandma <laughs> used to do that. Yeah, that, that would be fantastic as well. I mean, well, this is a classic dish. Oh, yeah. Uh, comfort food to the max. Comfort food and, you know, that's, that's the beauty of cooking. You can... You can use your own ingredients wherever you, you know, if you want to use biscuits. That was parsley you just put in there? That was some fresh chopped parsley. Okay. And then really, we're right there. We're just going to heat our pasta up really quick. Mm -hmm. And we just bring this up a little more. Now the sauce is, you know, it looks a little thin. Uh, traditionally what we would do at the end of that is to put a little egg yolk to thicken it up. You want oh, this over here? Sure. Okay. We do a, uh, we just go right in with the pasta. I'll actually. leave that there. I thought you were going to pour that. Okay. Well, we, what you want to do is you want to toss it together a little bit. Okay. Well, here and, we go. Uh, this is the yeah. show. And get it. You is, know. This a, is this a, a menu item just for the brunch or is this right on your regular menu? Your this is, menu this is going on our brunch menu. Oh, nice. And uh, what we'll do here is just kind of scoop it in there. Don't be bashful. It'll... It's pasta. It's fun. <laughs> we clean up the plates a little bit after after we're done here. Beautiful, yeah. So we go in with the uh, with the pasta there, mm -hmm. and then to finish this, just clean the edge up here. We're gonna go over the top with a little bit of bacon. Now we're talking. Or a lot of bacon. Now we're talking. And this is so simple and delicious, and it's just really amazing how. You know, the theme with Mediterranean food. They love bacon the in the Mediterranean, too. Well, they love it everywhere. <laughs> and then to finish right. that, we're going to put a poached egg over the top of that. 
And then that is our egg yolk element that'll thicken the sauce. And what happens when you break into that egg yolk, it goes down oh. and, uh, and thickens. I've noticed that when I've been in Europe, they put a lot of poached eggs on top of a lot of foods. I've had pizzas right. with poached eggs on top of them. Absolutely. And this is on the this is on the brunch menu. Let's quickly, we got under a minute, let's walk through some of the items you brought today. Let's start down here, speaking of eggs. This is a traditional eggs benedict. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a really good applewood smoked ham on that. Nice. House-made brioche bread. We bake all of our breads uh, in-house. Um, this is a French-style veal meatloaf. And uh, it's made from veal. It's got a little go. mushroom bordelaise and a poached egg on mm -hmm. top with Bernays sauce on top. So that's okay. really stick to your ribs. Here's the star of the show. This is the one that's got my attention. When Medi I think Mediterranean, I'm thinking shrimp. Right, exactly. There's a lot of different varieties of shrimp that come from the Mediterranean. Very classic and uh, simple, with simple accompaniments. We got a little bit of uh, desserts here, a little bread. Yep. What's, uh, what's the wrapped up? That is here. actually a caramelized baked apple, and we wrap it in phyllo dough, and there's a... Uh, this is a dessert? It's a dessert. There's vanilla creme anglaise on the bottom of that, so uh -huh. they can bust into it. It's like a, a takeoff of a nice apple pie, so Beautiful. to speak. Aperitif. Welcome. The Thank new you. kids on the block. Love it. It's Thank a smash. You. For a copy of today's recipe, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen, or log on to showcaseminnesota.com, click on recipes, and then go to the main dish category. For more great dishes, check out Aperitif Restaurant and Bar. It's located in Woodbury, and for reservations and more information, just call 651-578-3000.